So when I was in fourth grade, I played travel basketball. I had the unfortunate experience of being blindsided by a screen late in the game and watching my man hit the game-winning bucket over my outstretched arm. It's like, no, I am to blame for this loss. I just cost our team the game. So as I start walking out of the building, I started crying. I'm crying. I'm like sobbing. I noticed none of my other teammates were crying. The coaches were completely okay. And I started to ask, am I less of a man? because I'm crying. And does this make me a sissy? Why am I the only one who is so sensitive to this loss? Did I care too much? Or am I just handling my emotions in a really horrible way? Fast forward like 10, 15 years, I was still questioning, why am I so much more sensitive than so many of the men around me? I was a sensitive guy and I still am. Does this make me less of a man? Let me drop some truth on you. Jesus wept, not my words, but scripture. My favorite Bible verse, not just because it's the shortest, because it's so powerful. Jesus Christ was the most manly man to ever walk the face of the earth. And he allowed himself to feel the pain of loss to the point where he cried. As a man who has cried many times, you name the sports movie, I'm sure I've cried during it. Does that make me less of a man? No. It's time that we stop believing the lies that men don't feel things and that real men don't cry. And what makes us men is discerning how can we allow these things to come out in a virtuous way. Picking the right time to be emotional. How we act on the things that we feel is vital to providing and protecting for those around us. For those men out there who are more sensitive than the brothers around them, that's okay. You aren't less of a man because you're more sensitive. Your emotions don't determine what kind of man you are. The virtuous life that you live does. Joel out. Sensitive Joel about to go get another cry in. And then take a break. Rom-coms get me.